and good morning class this is a video to um show you how to navigate within the course in case it is not um straightforward so when you log into aces and you click on the canvas icon within the main menu in aces um you should be taken to what is called your canvas dashboard so your canvas dashboard will look a little like this with a bunch of squares, maybe just one square, two squares, depending on how many courses you're taking at the moment um, or how many courses you are enrolled in. Um, you possibly will have the ORLM course in there as well as your um, uh, math course. Okay. Um, and so what you'll do is you'll click on your math course and it will take you to the home screen inside Canvas. Now on this home screen, you can find my contact information. You can also find the link to schedule a Zoom session during my office hours. Um, and then I am available through text and email. And when I say text, I mean using the Remind application or once it's synced to your phone, you can just text from your phone messages um, to me. So that's one of the reasons why in the assignment to set up Remind, I ask that you send me a message that I can send a message back. And when I do that, I will have a, um, a message thread for you on my cell phone, and then you should have a message thread for me on my cell phone. So whenever you want to contact me, you can just go to that message thread and text me directly from your phone. Um, you can also use the app if you want to use the app instead. Um, that's also another option. So as you're going through this course, um, you have a link here that says click here to begin. Essentially, all it does is open up the modules tab, which is the tab right underneath the homework tab. Okay. Um, are some other resources and links to resources that you may need? For instance, if you need any other student resources, you can click on that page and see what's available and where. Um, tutoring centers, there's a link there. Um, St. Philip's technical support in case you're having issues with Canvas as you try to work along. Um, and then my math technical support in case you have issues trying to set up your My Math Lab. Um, and then disability services. If you need to get any kind of accommodations as you're going through this class, be sure to contact the disability services ASAP so that you can get those accommodations before our next test, our first test next week. Um, now, when you go into the modules, um, again, you're seeing it as an instructor view. So if I quickly go to the student view, um, everything should be locked for you. See how everything is grayed out and you only have the first item that needs to be completed. In order to complete the requirement to open up the next, for this assignment, you just need to view it. Next one, you actually need to contribute a discussion. And all of a sudden, I have hiccups. Not a good thing, but it's okay. Next one, you would have to view this page. You would have to pick a quiz and score at least one out of one. Same here. Um, so on and so forth. So you would go through the whole orientation module. Now, the thing I want you to realize is that in this first week, you actually have two modules that you have to complete. So you have the orientation module, which has to be completed by this here. And you also have the week one module, which is where all the math content is going to be located. And I did put the final deadline on Sunday 6-12. Now the reason for doing that is just everybody has different schedules. I don't expect everyone to be online um, exactly the same as I am. So the campus does have hours, but this is an online course, right? So I am working from um, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday. The campus is completely closed on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, that doesn't mean that I won't be checking my text messages and I won't be checking my emails and things like that. You just can't schedule any Zoom conferences because that is my off time. And so I probably will be doing things with my kids over the summer. Um, but if I do see messages on my phone, um, I pretty good at responding to those messages and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, again, I'm not 
per se glued to my phone like I am during the week because I anticipate to have student messages during that time because those are my work hours, but it doesn't mean that I won't answer messages in the weekend. So I just wanna make that clear. Um, and as you go through this orientation, you're also going to get to this assignment. This is where you're gonna set up the remind texting. So as soon as you get here, the fourth item in this um, orientation, from then on, you should be able to text me. So if you get stuck anywhere else in the module, in the orientation, you can definitely get quick uh, access to help, okay? Right here is the class schedule. Now I do put the class schedule everywhere in each week. So I break up the class schedule into each week. So if I click on the general class schedule, um, it has the whole schedule for the whole four weeks, okay? And this is the quote unquote suggested timeline, right? Because this timeline is based off of the working hours of the campus. So the campus is open Monday through Thursday. And so then everything that I'm asking you to do, I've separated it within that workspace, within that work time period. Um, I understand that some of you guys are not gonna be working on the material from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Central time. Um, you could be in another location with a totally different time zone. And so the times that you work on the course could be more convenient for you. I understand some of us have full-time jobs and children and other responsibilities, maybe parents to look after. Um, and in, in that case, the weekend might be the best time for you to sit down and work on the material. It is an online environment. So the time that you choose to work on the material, it's completely up to you. I just don't want anyone to get overwhelmed in one particular day. So it is best that you spread it out over um, three to five days, okay? I would, that's just my recommendation from teaching math and learning math and just being in the math education realm for so long that it is very much encouraged that you're working on your materials for about two to three hours, five times a week. Um, if you sit there longer, you're less likely to retain what you're working on after that three to four hour mark. Um, it's just too much. And so it's better to take a break. You can even come back that same day, but make sure you take a break every, I would say every hour, hour and a half, make sure you take breaks. It really helps your brain with the productivity and it helps your brain with retention. And retention is super important. I want to make sure that you know, understand, and remember the content that you're learning. So retention is super important when test time comes. If you didn't retain anything, then when you come to the test, you're not gonna remember anything, you're gonna blank out, all those sorts of things. So definitely, definitely put yourself on a timer and make sure that you take those breaks, okay? They're super important. Um, so back to my modules. And as I mentioned in the orientation, if you ever want to go back to see where you left off, you can just click on the modules page. And then depending on what's grayed out and what's not, you'll go to the last item that's not grayed out, and then you'll be able to continue through the module, okay? Now, this assignment here is important. This, in addition to this math online class, you also have to take what's called a orientation to online learning. And so that's basically a little class that in about an hour, maybe two tops, you'll learn how Canvas works, okay? So if you've never used Canvas before, that's definitely important to go to. If you have used Canvas before, sometimes it's just a review, but you definitely need to go in there. It is required by the Alamo Colleges. So you go into that course and you'll find it in your dashboard. If you click here on your dashboard, you should have an ORLN0001 course here. If you do not have an ORLN0001 course and the assignment has not been marked complete for you, then let me know because you do need to get registered for that class because you cannot move forward in my class until that class is done. Okay. Um, but you definitely want to make sure this is already marked complete. So when you click on it, look at the top right corner. If it already says that it's been marked complete, then you can continue, you can go back to modules and then continue with this respond to monitor item. Um, but if you are not marked complete, it just doesn't have a grade at all, no green check, nothing. Um, and you go into the dashboard and this class is not there for you to complete it, then you need to message me, okay? If it's not marked complete,
but you do see the ORLM thing in your dashboard, then just go click on that and then complete it. And then I think it tells you in this assignment, do you do go and complete it for you to take a picture of your screenshot and then send it to me in the remind text messaging. Um, that way I see that you've completed everything and then I can come in here and manually mark it complete. This is one of the items that have to be manually marked complete. So you can't continue until I have personally gone in there and marked it complete. And I have to do it that way because I have to verify that it's actually happened and then I can mark it complete. And if it hasn't, then we can have that conversation and diagnose where, where we're at, why we're there, why we haven't finished it, what's going on, okay? Um, another item that I will have to manually mark in is this one down here called My Math Lab. It's an assignment. And in there, what it does is it tells you to go through these process and basically register yourself for My Math Lab. Once you do that, you should be able to see the course. And in there, there's a first assignment. I think it's called something like, you know, how to use My Math Lab or something like that. And um, you need to complete that assignment. And that assignment is basically telling you how to type things into my math lab, you know, what all the buttons mean, that kind of stuff. Um, it's like a tutorial. Once you complete that assignment, then you message me and remind and say, I've done it. And I can go in and make sure that one, you're on my roster in my math lab. So you did get to the correct course. And two, that you did complete that tutorial. And then I will come in here and manually mark this item complete. Um, I will periodically check it, um, probably maybe two to three times per day until this orientation is, is due. Um, but I will periodically come in here and check because um, I, for those that just totally forget to text message me that they did it, um, at least I can still mark them complete and then they can continue on. Um, and then the goal for the orientation is to get this congratulations my story so just talking here a little bit about more about me um my background all that good stuff so tiny bit about my family so if you get to this page then you know you have finished your orientation module just don't forget that you actually have math content that's also going to need to be done this week so if i go to the timeline it tells me in here everything that needs to be done for each day now, I'm saying this is when I suggest you do it. But we understand this one has a deadline of Wednesday, census date. So if you haven't done your orientation by census date, you're not allowed to stay in the class. Um, but then this is the actual math content. That's your first section of homework. Um, here, it looks like it's two separate sections, but it's actually one assignment. Okay, so they kind of group the two sections together to create just one assignment. So really you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because the review is also an assignment. So you have nine assignments this first week. So you definitely, it's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to watch the video on these things. And then it's going to take you another hour to an hour and a half per assignment. So you're talking about, you know, an hour and 45 minutes to two hours. It could even be more than that, depending on how fast you learn and what you need to learn, okay? So make sure that you have scheduled that time in your weekly schedule so that you can dedicate to completing this stuff on time. Due dates are final in this course. We just simply don't have enough time to fall behind. This Everything has to be done within this five week span. I've tried to spread it all out so that it's pretty even throughout the five weeks so that you're not overwhelmed in any particular week. And so one thing I wanted to make sure that I did was I didn't put a test on this first week because there's already a bunch that you're doing. So I did schedule the test for the following week, okay? Now this is the suggested timeline on when you should do things. But again, the final deadline is not until Sunday, 6-12, okay? So if I go in here, the next page in that modules is the week one lectures page. So it says what you'll do is you'll come in here and as I create these lectures, Things will be linked. So if I haven't recorded the first lecture yet, I will be doing that as soon as I finish this video. Um, this will have a link and you'll be able to watch the video for this particular section. After you view the video, you want to go to the next module, which is the actual link to your My Math Lab homework, and you'll go complete that first homework. Then when you're ready to move on to the next section, you'll come back here in the timeline and click on the next video. 
okay? And you'll move on like that um, until you get through all of the sections for the week. And the next uh, tab is, of course, that homework video. So once you complete one of the homework assignments, make sure you go back on modules and you find week one lectures, you click back on that week one lectures, and then you can continue with whatever section you need to continue with, okay? So always go to modules, find the lectures page for your particular week, and then um, watch the video and then go to the next, next, and then go to the homework assignment, okay? And you just keep repeating that process nine times until you finish all nine sections, okay? Um, I think we're at the end. So then uh, in the syllabus, and there is a syllabus quiz, you will get to um, read the syllabus. There's also a link here to the syllabus, but there's, the syllabus is inside this assignment as well. Um, you'll learn more about the attendance policy and what week one attendance grades are for, okay? And the process is gonna be the same for each week. I just haven't published modules yet, I'm still working on them. I did want to have week one open, even though the link to the videos are not in there just yet, but I will have them in there before the end of the day today. Um, so that is it. That is the overview for the class, how to access everything. Um, there is what's called the workbook and some formula sheets for this course. And these formula sheets are going to be the sheets that you're going to be allowed to use when you take your final exam. And so I want to show you where they can be located. <clears throat> so under course policies, there's a final exam section. And this is the review to the final exam. And this is the final exam formulas. I would suggest that you print this. Now, I have already printed it. And um, I've noticed that some of the formulas, most of the formulas, um, I haven't used yet for this whole chapter. So if you see this, oh, it's not letting me. If you see this, there's only like two or three formulas for the first unit for week one. The other formulas I'm sure will come into play later. Um, another thing is the workbook. So I will explain how to do each homework assignment. That is what my lecture videos will be, is how to do the problems in the homework assignment. But there is also a workbook for this course. So if I go here to the materials, you see this link down here underneath the image of the book. And that is a workbook. And so if I click on that real quick, just real quick. I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes. <laughs> I'm trying to go quick. Um, you'll notice that for like the first section, they talk about how to do the problems by hand. Then they talk about how to do them in the calculator. And then they give you problems for you to try, okay? So, and they give you kind of like rules on how to do things and what's going on. So I would suggest that you review the particular section on the paper um, so you can understand how the problems are working and then uh, go back and um, try the videos, okay? But you do have this as a resource and it is in the syllabus. Okay. So I just wanted to make you guys aware of that. Um, there's also a link here to the virtual math world. So if you ever need tutoring throughout the semester, you do do uh, Zoom session tutoring. So you can get uh, tutoring from there. And I think that's about it. So I, I, I wish you guys the best of luck. And if you need me, definitely message me throughout this week. Okay, you guys have a great one. And thanks for registering for the class. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.